Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I want you to consider what would happen if you filled a 55 gallon barrel full of leaves at the fall, threw in a handful of worms, made sure it was nice and wet, and walked away. Well, that is where this comes in. That is exactly what I did. There is nothing really in here with the exception of leaves and some worms. And I'm going to dump this into a mortar tray and let you have a look at it and see basically from October to July what leaves all by themselves with a couple handfuls of worms can do without your meddling. If you can see, it's pretty moist down there, uh, but it doesn't smell bad. Worms look happy. We're going to put this in the mortar tray and see what we get. Okay, well here we go. Uh, I've also been putting random notes in there, apparently. But here we go. This is super wet. Not a whole lot of worms. You can tell that they are of the, the red blue euro variety and aside from the fact that it is super super wet these leaves look like they're just about done they could probably use more worms in here to finish it up but they're doing just fine on their own without me I know I'm the kind of person who likes to get in there and uh, see what the worms are doing uh, but they don't really need it. You know, if this was a leaf pile on the ground, they would have figured it out on their own without me. And uh, so there was not even a pound or half pound of worms. It was literally, I took one worm ball out of the bin that I was working on a particular day and tossed it in just to see what would happen. Uh, didn't catalog it or anything else, but this is, you can tell there's little sticks in here and big sticks in here but this is just leaves from my yard from October so you know just playing what if if you didn't have the time if you didn't want to mess with them you know what what could they do on their own without anybody's help and this is what it is there's actually more than this there's probably enough for a couple more mortar trays but I just wanted to show you what it looks like I mean it's clearly almost there really I mean it needs to dry out some if it's going to be siftable but as far as nutrients for the garden you know I could I could toss this in now this is good so I'm gonna put this back in its barrel uh, I'm not gonna leave it in this but I just wanted to bring it out and show everybody a what if so you always wonder does compost happen if nobody's looking you always wonder if there's worms and leaves and there's not a youtuber to document what they're doing does vermicompost really happen I suggest you it does and I'm gonna put them back in there and let them keep on going but this is what's possible even when you're not paying attention alright guys well if you like the video give me a muddy thumbs up and if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that little bell icon alright guys well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day